Righto, tell you there champs and welcome to the show. Now this is the new 2017 Cabby Lake MacBook Pro 15 inch. And yes, I have compared it to the XPS 15 from a content creator's perspective. And I'll come to the conclusion, if that's what you are, a video editor, content creator, the XPS 15 would be a better laptop. Now, if I took it from another angle though, let's just say money no object, what is the best 15 inch laptop a consumer can get? And I think you can make a strong argument that this is it. It's thin, it's light, beautifully crafted, fit and finish, superb, fantastic screen. It's fast, good battery life. You know, it's got great integration with your iPhone and the Mac ecosystem, if, if that's what you like. And overall, it's just a fantastic package. Now, it does have some usability issues. Yes, it will annoy you whether you're a professional or a consumer, just having all Thunderbolt ports. It's just like, you know, Dodgy Dave's got pictures from spilling milk in the Yu Yangs. Oh, I've got a USB. Oh, no, sorry, I've got to go get my... Yeah, okay, you get the point. The dongles, yeah. It does ruin the usability of it, but if you're okay with that, that's fine. Now, it's no secret that this is the most hated MacBook Pro ever. Loyal Apple fans are going crazy and they don't like it. And you just have to go online and you'll see loads of full-on Mac fanboys saying how they don't like this. They like the older model, the 215. Now, yeah, all right, the 215, it would be great if they could, yeah, put this screen and put the guts of this computer in the 215 chassis and then just put some Thunderbolt 3 ports and leave the USB. Yeah, that'll be fantastic. That's not happening. We need to move on and get over it and just appreciate this Mac for what it is. It is the fastest Mac laptop. It is the best MacBook Pro. You can't get better. And in this review, I'm going to be concentrating on what has changed from the last model and the things I like about it. You can check out my full review of the last model. There's plenty of reviews on this. You can check out my video comparing it to the XPS 15. Leave links in the description to all that. Not much has changed from the last model. Basically, it's the keyboard has been modified. It is better. It's still not my thing. I, I don't like how short the travel is, but it has improved. And considering that they keep on improving it, maybe that tells you that people aren't happy. But anyway, it's improved. It's better. We get Cabby Lake. So what does that mean? That means a bit better battery life. And because it has an improved speed shift over Skylake, it'll burst up to its full speeds faster. It should be a little bit more responsive. You'll get a bit of battery life. Get around eight hours battery life, eight and a half. Whereas the other one I got around seven, seven and a half. So has improved the battery life. And also you get the new AMD Radeon Pro 560. Now that's not much of an improvement over the 460. 5-10%, but it's still plenty fast. Also, what not many people have mentioned is they've actually modified the motherboard in there because the old model was having problems with graphic glitches and kernel panics and stuff like this and just stupid battery life where it would last two hours. And it was a problem where the firmware could not get the integrated graphics to switch to the discrete graphics and vice versa when it was on and off battery. So they've modified the motherboard in here. So that shouldn't happen as much now, although I did have some little tiny glitch when I was in Premiere Pro, like a green screen screen and I had to force quit a couple of things but nothing major it's just I would say that's just again driver or BIOS issues or something like that now what I love about this is I'm full Apple fanboy I have an iPhone I use an iPhone and I just liked that I didn't even do anything just all my messages come on the Mac it just happened I had the same account signed in now this didn't change my life but it is a nice touch I do appreciate how beautiful this is especially from the outside when you see it from the outside how well it's crafted the beautiful uniform thickness the tolerances of the panels fitting together that beautiful color it is a beautiful device there's no denying that it is fantastic it also has fantastic sound it is the best sound i've tested on any laptop so you can't complain with that the trackpad i still love the trackpad i know people do have issues with it reading thumbs and palms and stuff like that and yeah it did happen a few times but overall i think the trackpad is still the best without a doubt and the keyboard, although it's not my thing, it has improved and yeah, I can tolerate it now. Still, if you were to have a look at the list of all the things that the people hated about this MacBook and we're talking full on Apple fancy, none of those have been addressed really. If you put it at the top of the list would be ports, pro users wanted more RAM, they wanted faster. This is pretty much as fast as laptops get now. All right, the graphics isn't as powerful as some other models and yeah, you are limited to 16 gigs RAM. But if you're on the Mac world and you use Final Cut, it'll be plenty fast enough. 
even like if you just edit content in even Premiere Pro, you're not going to be slowed down actually editing the content. Yes, the exports are slower. That just is what it is. But the actual production of content will not take you any longer and a more powerful laptop will not help you in that regard. So I guess there's a lot of things to like about it. As I said, this you can make a strong argument that money's no object and you're talking the best 15-inch laptop. You can make a very strong argument for this. It is a great piece of kit if you just get over some of its shortcomings there. All right, me personally, I wouldn't buy it because I need Premiere Pro. I need faster exports. You know, it nearly takes double the amount of time in the exports. And even if you are a Final Cut Pro user, you get good fast renders if in Final Cut Pro. But the reality is there is some point you're going to be wanting to use After Effects or DaVinci and something like that. Well, yeah, there are better performing laptops with the other apps other than Apple apps. But I still think this is a great laptop. If you're a Mac user, it's a no-brainer. It's their fastest one out. And money no object. If you just want a great 15-inch laptop, definitely check out the MacBook Pro. So that's it. That's my review of the MacBook Pro Cabby Lake version. This video is helpful. Give me a thumbs up there. If you're new around here, why not subscribe? I've got lots more tech content coming soon. And until next time, guys, tally ho.